Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's birth video. Go to have a look at the weather. The dead 14 days for today's birth video. Day 10 will take us to 22nd of April. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Exilia GFS and ECM Ensembles. Very much around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video. Next four weeks, that gets us into early May. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first video today was 6am upload. And we've also released the Exilia uh, USA forecast as well. So check out those two vids if you'd like to do that. Like, share, subscribe on video. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. Right, let's start off with century temperature. Then the scene team is uh, still sitting at 8.4. I think that's where uh, we was yesterday. That's 0.5 of a degree, half a degree above average provisional to uh, yesterday to the 11th of April. Uh, these are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at Birmingham again today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Birmingham. We're starting off uh, below average at the moment. And we're going to stay a little bit below average through the rest of uh, this week. However, into the weekend through to next week, clearly a much warmer spell of weather is on the way. We see the upper air temperature gain really quite significantly above the red line. So I reckon next week we could well be achieving our first 20, 21 Celsius temperatures of the year. Um, so we're up to around 70 Fahrenheit, definitely uh, possible uh, with those uh, upper air temperatures warming up next week. Possibly signs of a bit of a cool down towards months there, but of course that's a long way off, very extended range, and therefore is pretty unreliable. Precipitation-wise, um, there's going to be more showery bursts to come over the next few days, but we will have a drier interval. Uh, with those upper air temperatures lifting up next week. So uh, not only warm, but also turning drier as well. High pressure definitely looks like it's going to be involved in that warm-up. And then after that, we find that uh, the precipitation spikes come back through to the last week of the month. So that's cooler or oh, cooler and more unsettled, really, as we get into the final week of April there. Definitely a warmer and drier spell, though, uh, next week, showing up quite nicely. Temperature anomaly is on the 12th to the 20th of April, so a little bit below average for England and Wales, going a little bit above average for Scotland and Northern Ireland. I don't expect these to start trending uh, warmer over the next uh, two or three days. And precipitation anomaly is from the 12th to the 20th of April, near normal to a little bit wet in the east, a little bit on the drier side for more northern and western regions. The latest wind from that from Earth and Old School dot net shows that we sat under an area of low pressure day, deep area of uh, low pressure right over top of the country, bringing heavy rain, strong winds, even snow in the north. You name it, it is happening with this uh, low pressure today. Right, so let's go through the chart day to This is how the latest UK Met to Euro run is looking for midnight on Friday. Low pressure pulling away to our east and bringing a rather cooler northerly or northeasterly wind into Saturday. And then high pressure reaching over and to the east of the country as we go from Sunday and into Monday with low pressure out to our north and west. Heading on up to the middle next week, a large area of high pressure takes over. Uh, that looks all right, doesn't it? Mostly dry and warm with that 1,035 millibar area of high pressure sat right over top of the country. That uh, looks uh, like it should be certainly bring plenty of sunny spells and mostly dry and warm weather. Right, I can't. It looks like that. Again, we get rid of low pressure over the weekend with high pressure increasingly ridging to our south and east. Then high pressure building right in over top of the country through to the middle part of uh, next week. Again, very much in line for you to make Euro run right now. This area of high pressure positioning over side to the east of the country brings the wind in uh, as a warm south easterly wind across much of the country. The GFS midnight run once more with that little area of low pressure in the southeast. That gets out of the way. A ridge of high pressure then starts building to the north and the west. That area of high pressure takes over. Uh, across the country and to the east. That's a bit more of an easterly wind with GFS. Um, midnight run could bring some slightly cooler air into the south and east, but overall that was mainly dry, and you would have thought it would be pretty warm. Up toward day 10, not much of a change. High pressure still in control. Just repositioning a little bit more to our west-northwest, so definitely now picking up a cloudier and cooler east north easterly across England and Wales. It's still anticyclonic mode, so it should still be mainly dry. 
as we head into the um, middle uh, of the, or I should say, as we head in towards the middle of the following week, this gets to Wednesday, 26th of uh, May. Then we find that the high pressure pulls out even further into the Atlantic and low pressure starts dropping back in from the north. So starting to turn cooler and more showery with northwesterly winds as we go through the last week of April. Nothing particularly uh, uh, cold, you know, nothing overly dramatic, but certainly a little bit, little bit cooler and more showery there through the last week of April. The GFS 6 Z um, again, all much of a much this over the weekend into next week, with the same idea, high pressure building over the country and to our east through the uh, through weekend and into next week. That high pressure is then dominant through to the middle of next weekend. Just pick up a little bit more on easterly compared to like Icon of the UK Met Euro run. Um, could bring a little bit more away cloud and cooler temperatures into the south and the east. But overall, high pressure is, is uh, predominating back to here all the way up towards day 10. Uh, beyond that, high pressure just starts to inch its way further and further north as we go through the last uh, week of April. So this gets us 28th of April. As far as we get to high pressure ready again, <laughs> becoming like a blocking feature within high latitudes, and we bring in more of an east or a north feature. That we bring cooler, maybe colder air, and showers into eastern and southeastern parts of the country. If you enjoyed the video, then please do you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. We thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. GM, again, show that uh, low pressure is uh, exiting away as we go through the weekend and into next week. High pressure takes over, sitting over and to the east of the country, bringing lots of dry and warm weather with this looks absolutely classic doesn't it for a spell of warm and dry april weather here in the third week of the month with time that high pressure just inching a little bit further uh, uh towards our west as we go to sort of days eight nine ten perhaps pick up a little bit more of an easterly flow in the south and the east but i think we're just quibbling here it's basically set there and going to be mostly dry and warm right away up to day 10 with the gm scenario and then the ecm at wf rounding it all off as low pressure clears out of the way in the weekend high pressure takes over then uh for next week a large anti-cyclone dominating the weather throughout the week just a little bit more of an easy flow for more southern parts of the country could bring a few uh a few showers maybe some slightly cooler air cloudy air conditions into the south there, but basically high pressure brings lots of dry, fine, and you would have thought warm weather right away up to day 10. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from tometeo.com. Lots of showers across the country today, and lots of spells of rain too, with those downpours are of a wintry flavour. Now, as we go into tomorrow, another showery day, a bit drier in the south, and then low pressure brings wet weather in from off the Atlantic through Friday, and that's uh, hanging around for a while to Saturday before high pressure then start to build to the south and east and the trend then is towards dry weather throughout next week looking uh, mostly dry there. Uh, these are the options on the table within the uh, ECM ensembles uh, for uh, day 10 so if we can just have a look at those there we go. Uh, right then so uh, this gets us to the 22nd of April of course so we've got 21 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure sitting over and to the east of the country includes the control and the operation run mostly dry quite warm winds coming in south easy direction with that 15 with high pressure sat over the country just reaching a little bit towards Greenland uh, so perhaps picking up slightly more of an east to north easy flow there with that option but again we're quibbling here it's mostly dry and warm with that nine have a high pressure more towards scandinavia and so that would bring in bring in more of an easterly uh, flow that could be a little bit cooler and cloudier for the uh, south east but should still be mostly dry and then six taking the high pressure into the atlantic and moving it towards greenland and so that could be dropping in quite a chilly north northeast wind. but only six going in that direction generally most of those options look dry and warm uh, CFSB2, finally, these are 500 millibar high to knowledge, broken down into uh, wheat beers. No, what am I doing? I'm going to go back here, haven't I? I'm going to look at two weeks out. Uh, right, okay, what am I doing? What are you doing, what are you doing Gab? What are you doing? Um, right, so, uh, these are the on the table at two weeks out, at day 14. 26 members of the ECM on some have high pressure men over the top of the country, and 25 have high pressure towards Greenland, and low pressure is dropping in 
over Scandinavia, and that would bring in like a cool, maybe quite cold, showery uh, northwesterly flow. So we might get the high pressure eventually going north again, as it has tending to uh, do so through this spring. You might see that high pressure going um, north, but you know it's a 50-50 split, really, 26 versus 25. Um, whether we keep high pressure over the country and maintain warm, dry weather for the last week of April, or whether we get high pressure back up to Greenland yet again. Right, now we can look at CFSV2. These are 500 millibar height anomalies broken down into week pairs. The first week pair will take us from the 12th to the 18th of April. The coming week has high pressure to the southwest, low pressure is through the country. This high pressure course is trending northwards, so the trend is to break out of uh, low pressure. And so by the time you get through the week two, which is the 19th to the 25th of April, high pressure dominating weather over and slightly to the west of the country, mainly dry uh, with that. Week three, big change. Look at this. It's the 26th of April to the 2nd of May. Then we see low pressure dropping back in from the Atlantic, so turning much more unsettled and cooler for the third week. And then finally, week four changes again, 3rd to the 9th of May, as a high pressure reaches back in from the west, and it turns mostly dry and uh, warm again there. So uh, proper chopping and changing from uh, week to week with the uh, CFS for the next four weeks. So changeable conditions, but there will be uh, periods of warm and dry weather to be enjoyed, if that's what you like. OK, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, then please you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our, uh, all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about our as well this and uh, ask them to subscribe for us. And we thank you so very much, everybody, um, for doing that. Just tell you what's coming up tomorrow. So we're going to have the uh, 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, as always. We will have the um, European outlook as well. Detailed look at the weather for the next week, 10 days for Europe. I think it will be involving a lot of warm and dry weather, particularly for northern the West of Europe, as we've already established. And uh, if that wasn't enough, there will be a 10 to 14 day for you tomorrow as well. You enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. And for this video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.